Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release 2023 Topps Cosmic Chrome Baseball. 12 box, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com, all card ship. A lot of fun stuff in here, so let's get into it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on new release Wednesday, the 30th, 2023. It's already the end of the month. August flew by. Rob going big, getting the last seven teams all at once. Septuple, last Bob Mojo? Seven, right? All right, thanks, Rob. Thanks, everybody, for getting in and making this happen. We've got the next case of Cosmic Chrome uh, down to 11. So almost in single digits. We can get that done right after this. So make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. The, the cases, and I confirmed this with my own two eyeballs, the breaks four, five, and six are the only ones left Well, in the, uh, in the shop. Got a chance to get all those done tonight, maybe. We'll see. All right, so six boxes there, six boxes here, and away we go. And now I, I did my first pick your team um, just a few moments ago. So now that I'm kind of used to the used to the uh, the pattern, what to look for, and all that sort of stuff, and this break might be a wee bit faster than. And the first one that I did. Yeah, that was, Duncan was saying that would be a lot of cost. That would be a lot of cosmic Duncan. Wait, is 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 the uh, is the Hall Easy household under the weather? Just lazing about the house? Little lion, as they say. The Duncan House have, uh, has, has down tools for today, ladies and gentlemen. I remember, autographs few and far between. So that's not the primary chase. The primary chase are all the different parallels and short prints and numbered cards and all that sort of good stuff here. So that's, that's what we're looking for. Is that's what makes this set unique. Good luck, everybody. And all card ship. Yelich Nuclear. Juan Soto Extraterrestrial Talent. Star Clusters, Corbin Carroll Base. I love these Starry Night inserts. Kyle Schwarber launched into orbit. Scott with the Diamondbacks here in break three. We'll get all those Corbin Carrolls, hopefully some low numbers, maybe some, maybe an autograph. That would be awesome. And here's an auto, Bryson Stott. That's going to be for Harry and the Phillies. There you go, Harry. With the fight and fills. Jan saying the and we'll, I'll do a little autograph and other key card recap at the end. The nine banded armadillo finally made it to Kentucky. Uh, tell me more about this nine banded uh, armadillo. Here's a Zach Granke gold to fifty. Are they usually not nine banded? I don't I don't know much about the armadillo. I'm afraid. D Y with the Royals. Christopher Morel Green, 75. Francisco Alvarez, extraterrestrial talent. Reed Detmers, Blue Moon to 99. And that's our first box. The Reed Detmers will go to Rob and the Angels. 
The Francisco Alvarez extraterrestrial talent insert will go to the Mets. That's going to be for Tara. And the Christopher Morel will go to Darren DMAC. Yeah, we heard. He's been called up and he's officially playing this Friday, Scott's saying. I mean, if you've been holding on to Jason Dominguez is for a while, maybe now, now, now the time to pull those out and keep an eye on that Yankees game on Friday. Your state park near you found a dead one after it was hit by a car, so it's the 51st animal in the Commonwealth. Okay. Good to know. And we looked at some of the final scores in the first case. A uh, Mariners beat the A's 5-4. Astros beat the Red Sox 7-4. Reds beat the Giants 4-1. Blue Jays shut out the Nationals 7-0. Cubs edged out the Brewers 3-2. Cardinals beat the uh, Padres 5-4. Guardians beat the Twins in extras 5-2. White Sox doubled up the Orioles 10-0. The Phillies came back, or the Angels came back to beat the Phillies 10-8. Games in progress. We've got the Yankees leading the Tigers 6-2 in the bottom of the seventh. Rays and Marlins still scoreless, bottom of the, or top of the ninth. 0-0. Mets leading the Rangers 3-2, top of the eighth. Pirates Royals just started, bottom of the second, and the Pirates are ahead early, 3-0. Braves at Rockies just started, 0-0. And then the uh, late game that has not played yet, Diamondbacks, Dodgers. Uh, Brandon Fat on the mound for the Diamondbacks, and Ryan Pepio on the mound for the Dodgers. Pepio, who made the opening day roster, but uh, immediately had some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, oblique issue, and then hasn't been seen on the Dodgers until, until recently. There is a Christopher Morell. Starry Night insert, which I think look really sharp. Darren with that one. Got launched into orbit Frank Thomas. Got a Shohei Otani extraterrestrial talent for Rob. I think all, all things Otani, I mean, still a lot of value there. And we've got a, a Stella Nova die cut. Nice. Michael Harris for the Braves. That's going to be for Mallory in Atlanta. There you go, Mallory. How short printed are these? Or how common or not common are these? Let's take a look at the, the checklist. The die cuts tell Nova one out of every 240 packs. Can someone do the math if it's 20 packs a box? And we got some gold, Oswaldo Cabrera. 24 out of 50 for the Yankees. Matt Smith with the Bronx Bombers. Got an Otani base card here. Lose Stephen Kwan to 99 for Cleveland. That'll be for Jeremy. It's another box down. Yeah. 
So it looks like that's Stella at a two, 240 packs. So is that one per case? I think that lands approximately one per case. I don't think a, I don't think it's a guaranteed case hit, but that's that's what the odds that's what the odds are. The probabilities. Tiafo has advanced in the U.S. Open straight sets. Let's, uh, let's switch to a little baseball here. I want to watch the Tiafo match. I got it. MLB Network regional coverage. Jan, how do you think the A's logo should be when they go to Vegas? And how will be called there? Um, I don't think it's going to change. I think it's going to be the Las Vegas A's. I don't think they're going to rebrand. The only thing that would change would be stationary. Different city, I guess. Oh, well, hmm. That I don't know. Will they go be like the Raiders? Ra yeah, Raiders went specifically as the Las Vegas Raiders. And the Golden Knights uh, specifically went Vegas Golden Knights. I feel like the Vegas A's has a kind of a nice ring to it. Vegas A's. Las Vegas A's? Vegas A's? There's a Masataka Yoshida starry night. Nice. Red Sox, Rob. Trout Nuclear. Adley Rushman Base. Kodai Senga, Extraterrestrial Talent. Oscar Colas, Aqua to 199. Launch into orbit, Raphael Devers die cut. So Riley Green, extraterrestrial talent. Justin Verlander Gold, 31 out of 50, Mets edition. Some logos I have made by people that have dice logos. Or a club in the baseball with the elephant in it. Sounds terrible. And a supernova insert, Shohei Otani. Nice. A supernova inserts, one out of every 387 packs. Nice. Rob, Angels. And there's Kyle Tucker to 75. All right, halfway through the first half of the case. Next box.
Yeah, very nice looking insert set. Love the supernovas, they're very interesting. I wanna see some more of those planetary pursuits as well. Chancing of the A's could go back to the old blue and whites when they were in Philly, or the red and whites while in KC. Now I could see a color change. I don't think they're gonna change the, I don't think the athletics are gonna change the name. There's kind of too much history behind that name. It would be a shame. And I don't think they're really gonna do too much with the, the A logo, or even the elephant. The white elephant, as an old owner quipped back in the day. Um, I could see a color change, though. I feel like the Raiders and Golden Knights color palette is pretty similar. Could they go with that? Could be interesting. You know, sort of like how the how the Pittsburgh teams all share the same color palette. Duncan likes the green, though. Hmm. Yeah, are there any other teams that, that run with that kind of green color? In baseball, I can't think of any other team off the top of my head. The NFL has some green, obviously the Packers and the Jets. Got some green going. So baseball might be the only green team, right? Cunha Jr., Starry Night. Launched into orbit, Bryce Harper. Gunnar Henderson, Yoshida. Tatis Jr. and an Andrew McCutcheon blue to 99 for the Pirates. That'll be for Rob. Marcus Simeon and a Gunnar Henderson refractor, nice. And I wanted to see more planetary pursuits and here's a Mike Trout planetary pursuit for Rob and the Angels. It's a little more common. The sun is the most common at one out of every 120 packs. And then the uh, Mercury is a next common, still one out of every 480 packs. A little more common, but still pretty short printed. That'll sit nicely next to that Otani from the first case, Rob. And I'll, I'll bet, I'll bet those secondary market prices for these planetary pursuits may, may surprise some people. Once, once we start seeing some sales get underway. All right. That's right, Jan. You know this. You know the white elephant story. Yeah, not too much intel on Ryan Pepio. Pepio is what did make the opening day roster. Had an oblique injury and never really got his season underway, unfortunately. But in AAA, but he did make some rehab starts and there just wasn't any room for him. And only started pitching in AAA in Oklahoma City in mid-July and had some pretty pretty nice numbers for what it's worth. I think he did not make a... Did not make a uh, start recently, but I think he was like 
you know, had was like a kind of a bulk reliever, but pitched a bunch of innings last time he was out and put up some pretty good numbers. So. So we'll see. I hope he does well. Chilo's wondering what the print run for this is going to be. Yeah, he is a rookie. Yeah, I think he made a major league appearance last season at some point. But yeah, he's, he's still classified as a rookie. Chilo, the print run for what? For Cosmic? seem like a lot. Bobby Witt Jr. launched into orbit die cut because the next batch, I feel like we didn't get a lot of cosmic in our first batch and then the next batch that I think the price has already gone up a little bit so if you want to get into these breaks ladies and gentlemen the current breaks on the site are the ones to get. That's the first outman I've seen. There's a Yoshida extraterrestrial talent. There's a James Outman. And a Bobby Wood Jr. autograph. <laughs> extraterrestrial talent auto for the Royals. That's for DY and the Royals. Very nice. Gila, you don't like the lava lamp and the ray wave? <clears throat> I think those are pretty nice. The ray wave and the lava parallels have been nice. Oh, look at this. Wow. Adley Rushman, Planetary Pursuit, Uranus, which is one out of every 20,087 packs. And that is for Rob and the Orioles. That's awesome. Dominic Fletcher, Aqua to 199 for Scott and the Diamondbacks. I know you might you might have to build the Uranus set now. There's only 10 players on each of these planetary pursuits, so you've got um, you've got the Rushman down card one. You got the Otani down card seven, so you just need the Trout, Yoshida, Corbin Carroll, Francisco Alvarez, Aaron Judge, Acuna Jr., Julio Rodriguez, Juan Soto. You got yourself to set. And imagine if you get those graded, you got a PSA 10 set. Does sound like a fun challenge. You got Rangers up on the Mets on MLB Network, five to three, top of the eight. All right, so we're on box six. Yeah. 
Really? That seems like a very ambitious price, but good luck to that person. Jan is, according to Jan, the highest planetary card is o the Otani Uranus card listed at $19,500. I suppose even if you get half that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. die cut, Reds edition. Got an Adley Rushman, Starry Night. Starry, starry night. <laughs> That'll go to Rob and the Orioles. Extraterrestrial talent, Riley Green for the Tigers. That's gonna go to Francis. Pete Alonzo. Aqua Shimmer to 199. It'll be for Tara and the Mets. Wow, and Planetary Pursuit, the sun. Maybe you gotta do all the planets and the, and the star. This is the most common one. One out of every 120 packs, but that's gonna go to Rob and the angels. Eric's asking, what does ringing the bell mean? Yeah, most times it's for the Big Hit Express. And sometimes it's just, and hit the bell for a cool card. It's just a thing. I'd like to have fun here, Eric. All right, halfway through the case, second half, another 30 minutes. We'll do a quick little recap at the end as well. So with that sun, Otani, now all Rob needs is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto. Someone's trying to sell the Otani Sun card for a thousand bucks. I feel like new release days. I mean, hey, might as well, right? Shoot the moon, pun intended. You may as well. Brand new release day. You don't you don't know who might who might just hit that buy it now button. More of this in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. All right, good luck. Next box. Vlad Guerrero Jr. launch into orbit die cut. Julio Rodriguez, extraterrestrial talent. The Michael Harris Starry Night for Mallory and the Braves. Uh, 
Yoshida, extraterrestrial talent, and Yoshida, planetary pursuit, the sun. That's for the Red Sox, that's for Rob. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Nice. All right, Aqua is Votto, Joey Votto, for 199. Oh, what are you gonna do for the Bake Off, Rex? And more importantly, Rex, what do you win? That's that's what matters. Then then that sh that should determine how invested you're gonna be in this Bake Off or not. There's launch into orbit, Otani die cut for Rob and the Halos. All right, another box down. Oh, Mets tied it up with a homer. I don't know who hit that home run. Stewart hit that home run. Stewart. DJ Stewart. I do see four orders coming in here. Let's see what the people want to do. We've got Cosmic Force still holding at 11, in case down at 12. So not much on the new releases, but maybe people are buying into that mosaic basketball that's going to drop on Friday. All right, so Rex has in, in, his, uh, in his town, they have a marshmallow fest every year. Wait, why do, why do they have a marshmallow? Is there a marshmallow factory there? Why do they have a marshmallow? What's the history behind that, Rex? Rex is going to make some brownies, mix them with some marshmallow creme, then top with some frosting, then top with mini marshmallows and golden grams. Are you going to crush the golden grams, or is it going to be like one little bear sticking out of there? Wow, and you just ordered a baking torch from the Big A online store, right? To melt the marshmallows. Hmm. Seems to be a lot of ordering of baking torches and not a lot of uh, not a lot of group breaks. Rex. Let's look out for uh, let's let's look out for news stories of a uh, of a home in Indiana being burned down by a uh, by a baking torch. A baking story gone wrong. News at 11. A uh, local Indiana man. Local Indiana man burned down his house using a, uh, a baking torch. Eric, uh, yes. If you click that link that I just dropped, jazbeescasebreaks.com, we got a bunch of baseball, got a bunch of football, got a little bit of basketball on the site, and even some soccer. We, we, we break all sorts of different stuff. Ah, I gotcha. It used to be a marshmallow plant for a long time called Kids. There was only three in the world. The one was in Vegas. And it exploded in the 80s? The one in Vegas or the one in Indiana? There's an Otani Starry Night. Jordan Walker. Die cut. Launch into orbit die cut for the Cardinals. That's for Spencer. Who 
there seems to be like a little indentation right there. Sometimes I see that from really like a factory printing issue, but there you go, Rob. Oh, in Vegas, middle of the desert. Is the, so that's where the Marshmallow Fest has, right? Edwin Diaz to 75. And a Starling Marte to 199. Both Mets going to Terra. Ah, gotcha. Kids sold craft. Moved the factory to a town roughly 20 miles away. They kept the tradition. That's good. Keep that tradition. We got some Aaron Judge, the sun. Here comes the sun. Doo, 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 doo. That's going to go to Matt and the Yankees. The more common of the uh, planetary pursuits, but also not that common. And there's launch into orbit, Aaron Judge. And a Trey Mancini uh, for Darren, Cubs edition. Green, 53 out of 75 on that one, Darren. All right, four boxes to go. Yeah, Scott, we need to, we need to find some, some more Corbin Carrolls for you. Perhaps a short printed planetary pursuit. Perhaps a rare autograph. Something. Thirty second year of the market. Prior to the strawberry, what happened to the strawberry days? Rex, maybe you should pop a strawberry on top of one of your brownies. You know, try to play to the nostalgia of the judges. You know, harken back to the old old days, strawberry days. That'd be a nice little story. A little pop of red on top of the uh, the white of the marshmallow and the dark color of the brownie. That'd be a nice little pop of color there. That'd be good plating. If you plate that right. Ooh. And be sure you, yeah, do it. Do it, Rex. Make sure you tell that story, though. You know, tell, let them know. Give them the, give them the story. This is, this is what the strawberry represents. Got another Jordan Walker launch into orbit die cut. And an extraterrestrial talent, Jordan Walker. Both of those going to Spencer Jordan with Jordan Walker. Was it Gunnar Henderson, Bryce Harper, Starry Night, launched into orbit, die cut. We've got a Zach Gallon for the Diamondbacks. Blue to 99 for Scott. Let's see if we can find his teammate.
Here's a Josh Young nuclear. Nice. That's for the Rangers. That's going to go to Rob in Texas. And we've got a Jacob DeGrom for Texas. That's an Aqua Shimmer to 199. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We got more in the store. Pick your team four is holding at 11 teams left. If you want to get into that. Rays Marlins game went to extras. In the tenth inning, Rays end up winning three nothing in Miami. And uh, yeah, the Yankees finished off the Tigers six to two. Garrett Cole with the win improves to twelve and four. Is Garrett Cole, our I feel like there hasn't really been there's been a lot of chatter about. Uh, A lot of chatter about the MVP, but what about the Cy Young? Is, that, is there really anything happening in the Cy Young Award race? Because Cole ha Garrett Cole has been a favorite for like last couple months. Next closest is uh, he's minus 210 now. Luis Castillo is the next closest at plus 280. For the NL, it looks like Zach Gallon's a slight favorite at minus 105. He got roughed up by the Dodgers last night, so. Uh, Spencer Strider is plus 200. Blake Snell is plus 300. And Justin Steele is plus 2,000. Man, I wonder there's a little value in sprinkling, sprinkling a little bit of coffee money on Justin Steele at that price point. Especially if he finishes September strong and maybe some of the other guys slack off a little bit. Here's Francisco Alvarez, Starry Knight insert for Tara and the Mets. Sharp looking insert set. Kyle Schorber for the Phillies to 199. That'll be for Harry and the Fighting Phils. There's a little bit of gold peeking down there. There's some blue coming up. And that's going to be blue Fernando Tatis Jr. It's to 99. That's going to go to Steven and the Padres. Launched into orbit Juan Soto die cut. There's a Corbin Carroll extraterrestrial talent insert for Scott. We got green Brandon Nemo, finding Nemo to 75. That's for Tara and the Mets. And the gold, 30 out of 50, George Springer gold autograph. For the Blue Jays, it's going to go to Joe Simone.
Nice. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. MVP, the MVP race in the NL at least is getting interesting. Looks like looks like for a lot of books, odds are odds are off for the AL MVP. Looks like Otani is going to be the the runaway favorite there. And I think this website still has Acuna Jr. as the as the heavy favorite, minus three thirty. And Mookie bets at plus 600. But I think some books have that flip now. I think Mookie bets is still, maybe still might be plus money, but is the favorite. And Acuna is second favorite. It might take September to figure out who's going to win that NL MVP. Some people have been making the case for Matt Olson for MVP, but I don't, I don't know if Vegas feels the same way. These are slightly older odds, but they have them at plus 5,000, 50 to 1. About the same odds as Goldschmidt and Garayas. See you, Adam. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Adley Rushman base on top for the O's for Rob. Pete Alonzo launch into orbit die cut. We've got a Shintaro Fujinami uh, to 75 green. That's for Jeremy and the A's. Still A's edition there. Corbin Carroll base card. Julio Rodriguez, Starry Knight. Launch into orbit. Giancarlo Stanton. Jacob deGrom, nuclear. Gunnar Henderson, rookie card. Is that your AL Rookie of the Year? We'll look at Rookie of the Year odds in the next box. We got a Gunner. This is even better. Gunner Henderson Nuclear for Rob and the Orioles. And a Ronald Acuna Jr. Stella Nova die cut to 10. Mallory with the Braves. That's awesome. What's up, Nick? The Otani I pulled. The J Rod I pulled as well, that autograph. It's, those are in the Big Hits channel right now. This will be soon as well. Now, according to Beckett, it's one out of every 20,000 packs. And 
There's Esther Ruiz to 199. And then we pulled another, you'll see in the recap soon, but we pulled like another planetary version of him. So it was a little, slightly more common, but Rob got it, Rob W. And so now Rob's like, I guess I have to build that set now. <laughs> I have to find all the planets for Otani now. A worthy search, I think. All right, final box. Fingers crossed, everybody. Good luck. We got more of these in the store, so check it out. I think we're still holding at 11 teams on Pigger Team 4, which I could do right after I come back from my break. All right, let's go to Rookie of the Year odds. Yeah, it looks like Gunnar Henderson is now the, is at minus 700. Next close is Tristan Casas at plus 750. Looks like that's gonna be your AAL Rookie of the Year, unless, the, at least according to the markets, to this mark, to the uh, wagering market. Who knows, the baseball writers could just upend it. Uh, Corbin Carroll is a huge favorite for the NL, so I don't think anything's really changed there. Minus 3,500. and final box of the brand new Cosmic. Thanks for joining the break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Appreciate you spending a little time with Jaspies on a Wednesday. A lot of things you could be doing. I appreciate you spending, carving out a little time for, for us. So appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Good luck. There's Austin Riley launched into orbit. We've got a Brett Beatty, Starry Night insert for uh, for Terra and the Mets. Some aqua here, Matt Mervis to 199. That's for the Cubs, that's for Darren. Here's a nuclear Oscar Colas, Corey Seeger refractor. Jordan Walker, extraterrestrial talent. Ronald Acuna Jr., Aqua Shimmer to 199 for the Braves for Mallory. A die cut was really cool, Mal. And let's see how we close it. Maybe nothing exciting in this last few cards here. We got a Francisco Alvarez, there we go, and a James Almond, I'll take that. Francisco Alvarez launched into orbit die cut for Terra and the Mets, and a James Altman rookie card going to Rob and the Dodgers. There you go, gang. 2023 Topps Chrome, Topps Cosmic Chrome Baseball, 12 box Pigger Team 3 in the books from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Quick little recap of the autos and other notable cards. There was the Acuna Jr. to 10. That was awesome. Love the Starry Night inserts, Trey Mancini autograph. Aaron Judge, The Sun, Otani, Starry Night. Yoshida, The Sun, Otani, The Sun, Rushman, Uranus, Adley Rushman, another rare one here, Bobby Witt Jr., Mercury, Mike Trout. We got the Otani Supernova, Yoshida, Starry Night, Michael Harris, Die Cut. 
Bryson Sott started things off. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.